Hi, I'm Bala Gunstivin, and thanks for tuning in to my lightning talk on data analysis using the Tidy NDR. First, the introduction. 40 years have passed since the first case of HIV AIDS, yet in the year 2020, 1.5 million people were newly infected with the virus. 690,000 people died of AIDS related illnesses, and approximately 37.6 million people were living with HIV AIDS. While remarkable progress has been recorded in the last decade, inequity between and within countries continue to drive the epidemic. Though some countries have attained epidemic control, many are off track with COVID-19, conflict, and humanitarian emergencies reversing the case. The United has set the ambitious target to achieve epidemic control of HIV AIDS by year 2030 through identification of at least 95% of persons living with the virus, retaining 95% of those identified on treatment, and achieving virus suppression at least 95% of those on treatment. Nigeria has the fourth largest epidemic in the world, with an estimated 1.5 million people living with HIV. At the end of 2020, the progress across the three 95 are 73%, 89%, and 78%, with varying prevalence and progress across the states, as shown by the map. To achieve the innate target, granular data at community, local government, and subpopulation levels must continuously be made available and utilized for informed decision. In 2016, through the PEFA support, the journey to the Nigerian National HIV Data Repository started. The repository contains the identified records of over 1.5 million HIV clients on treatment across the country. This is accessible to persons within the country to track progress and improve programming at various levels. Line list of these clients can be downloaded for further analysis and use. The picture below shows the snapshot of the NDR public dashboard. According to the PEPFA Monitoring Evaluation and Reporting Guideline version 2.5, it is essential to not only capture high quality data but to also continuously use and analyze the data to achieve maximum program impact. The only way to improve data is to use the data. However, analysis of the downloaded data is traditionally conducted in spreadsheet applications. While this provides a great platform, the downsides include the software must be installed on the user's computer, the user must be familiar with the formula for the calculations, the point and click nature of the analysis makes it error prone with difficult reproducibility. Also, performing the same analysis periodically can be quite tedious and time consuming. Therefore, a cross functional team of seven clinical and data experts came together to put the tidy NDR package to support analysis of the NDR patient language. This package was designed in line with the data science work proposed by Adley Wickham. Varying functions are responsible for importing, tidying, transforming, and summarizing the data. Nine tidy verse and tidy verse related packages were used in the development of the tidy and package. It's available for installation on, from both the GitHub and CRAN. Where possible, we name the functions similar to the PEPFA program indicators that users are already familiar with. These functions are grouped into one important function, seven treatment related functions, four viral load functions, and two summary functions. The benefits of the package includes it provides a path platform for data analysis and automation of routine projects. Analysis conducted using the package is reproducible. It can be used to analyze a large volume of data. It supports easy identification of program graphs for tailored intervention and provides a foundation upon which other relevant program applications can be built. The Shiny Apps dashboard and the weekly detailed analysis shown on the right were some of the examples of applications built on the package. We encourage you to try the package out, give us feedback, and we welcome your contributions and suggestions. Thank you for your time.